Hi everyone, Leslie from Discovery Fabrics. We're talking today about the new Menta Snow Hoodie. Uh, very excited about this pattern because it can be used for so many people and for so many reasons in outdoor sports, whether it's skiing or on snow machines or skating or just being outside and playing. So the Snow Hoodie has two styles that Mariella has created. And the first one that's included in the pattern is to make a hoodie that goes over a helmet. And the other version is to wear without a helmet. So uh, it's made up of the hood part, the chest part, goes around the back of the neck and over the shoulders. And then the face cover, um, which has to be breathable. So this outer part here can be non-stretch, but the face cover has to be a stretch fabric. Um, and in this case, uh, we have used Polar Tech um, Wind Pro Fleece, which this particular style is not stretchy. And we've used Polar Tech Power Stretch Fleece Back here because it's very breathable, it's stretchy, very comfortable, um, and is typically used in lots of outerwear applications. So what are you going to be using it for and how are you going to use it? Now, first off, if you are putting a snow hoodie over a helmet, you're gonna get a certain amount of warmth from the helmet itself. So, and actually you'll get not only warmth, but a little bit of wind and rain protection as well. So the choice of your fabric, if you're putting it over um, a helmet, is not as crucial as it is if you're wearing it just on its own. So let's talk about uh, warmth factors. Obviously, if you live in an area where it's very rainy, you're gonna wanna have some water repellency to that fabric. If you live in a snowy area and it's just super cold, um, then you might be able to get away with just a fleece that is not particularly water repellent or wind repellent. So you choose what you need, the properties of the fabrics, based on whether you're gonna need it as uh, weather protection and uh, what features you need in those fabrics. So I wanna talk today about um, Polar Tech Wind Pro. Wind Pro is a type of fleece made by Polar Tech um, and it comes in many, many different styles and weights. We classify Wind Pro by either just Wind Pro Fleece or by Wind Pro Stretch. Wind Pro Stretch um, is, comes in many different weights and uh, styles as well, but I'm gonna show you this particular style here, which we have in many colors. Uh, this is uh, Wind Pro Stretch 9509. So the outer face is very, very water repellent. It's quite a stretchy four way. You could use this really for um, the hood as well. Even if they have stretch, it's okay to use it on the outside. You just don't need to. Um, and it's just a really nice, lovely weight. It does block the wind. All of Wind Pro does because of its really tight knit. Uh, but if you live in a colder area, you may want to go to the Sherpa backed Wind Pro stretch. It does not have as much stretch um, as our 9509 style but it is warmer so that's just an option if you're looking for a lot of warmth and some stretch but um, the example that i showed you i don't remember where i put that here it is is actually quite a heavyweight wind pro this is non-stretch and this is very similar um, to this style here which is a um, lovely mid-weight non-stretch wind pro uh, style 7380 this is dark midnight this is a beautiful velour wind and water repellent uh, fleece that can be used for many, many things, but it would be very good for the snow hoodie. We have uh, quite a few seconds that just came in and they have very, very small flaws on them. So you're gonna get an incredible deal on those, which is great if you're just making things for the kids to wear outside. You don't have to have uh, perfection. You just want it to be very, very functional. And then second here, we have WinPro 9501, which is actually a light weight of WinPro. And it's kind of funny because this does have stretch, but yet we don't call this WinPro stretch. WinPro stretch, as far as we are concerned, has that smooth, durable outer finish, and WinPro doesn't. It's very, very fleecy, mostly very soft velour feeling. Um, and then if you are in a very rainy area or you get a lot more wind, you are gonna maybe wanna beef it up with a soft shell. This is an example of Pacific Tech soft shell. We have many, many soft shells from Polar Tech uh, Power Shield to Power Shield Pro or many other shells, but Pacific Tech soft shell 
is a non-stretch, beautifully fleecy, warm, and uh, really, really wind and water repellent soft shell. And that would be a really good choice for the um, actual hood part itself. And uh, if really wind and water were not an issue and you're just making a fashion hoodie to give you just that extra bit of warmth, you really could go to a traditional Polar Tech fleece. We carry the beautiful non-pilling Polar Tech. They invented fleece. They still make the best fleece in the world. And we have Polar Tech fleece in many weights, everything from micro fleece to 100, 200, and 300 weight, which is all basically the weight of the fabric and how much warmth you're going to get from that. And also, um, I just wanted to show you a Polar Tech High Loft. High Loft is an ultra warm fleece that is very compressible. So this is really great for hoodies and things like that. And consequently, it would also be good for the hood. Now, I also want to talk about the face covering piece, because regardless of what you decide you're going to choose on the outside, you need something breathable and stretchy for that face piece. So what I used in my sample, I mentioned to you that this is Polar Tech Power Stretch. This is a fleece back, um, very stretchy. So here's an example right here of Polar Tech Power Stretch. Lots of people use this for leggings and hoodies and that kind of thing, but it would be really, really good for that face piece of the hood. If you wanted something just a little bit lighter than the fleece then we also have a fabric that we call Northern Light. This is a beautiful athletic fabric that's buttery soft on the outside and just has the tiniest bit of brushed back on the inside for comfort. We really like that. It's easy to breathe through. And what's important is that you're not using natural fabrics across the face because a natural fabric will actually retain moisture. And you want a fabric that's going to dry very quickly so that that breath that's going through it is not causing a lot of, um, well, we get soaking wet and potentially freeze. And one of the other suggestions I have, this is a cute little print, but this is actually Polar Tech Power Stretch, but it's in Power Dry. I'm sorry, it is not Power Stretch, it's Power Dry. Um, it's uh, called heavyweight power dry, but really it's not heavy at all. It's just heavier than the other power dries that we carry, which are intended to be uh, fast drying base layers worn next to skin. So that's Polar Tech Power Dry Heavyweight. We've got that in a lot of really cute prints, so it would be kind of fun to put, say, for example, um, this Pacific Tech with one of these prints looks really cute. Um, any of these prints here, and we have many other in, in Northern Lights as well, you could put with a number of the other fleeces that I've shown and they would look really pretty. And uh, I just wanted to also mention that there, um, there's just a lot of sales on right now because of the seconds that we've got in. Normally when we get seconds in, it's, uh, we're expecting they might be a little off color or something like that. So you can get some really good deals on these right now. If you have any questions um, about any of these fabrics, we have a fabric group called So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics, and that's where we are most available to answer those questions. Uh, but of course, we will try to pop into Mariella's group as well, if we can, if you have any questions that you wanna ask there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, really, really great pattern, Mariella. Congratulations for another success. Thanks for watching.